Ever wonder how tropical storms and hurricanes are named? There's Sandy, there's Irma, there's Harvey. These names might sound random, but the system of naming storms is not as arbitrary as you think. Until the 1950s, tropical storms and hurricanes were tracked by year and the order in which they occurred. However, since hurricanes occur every year, and more than one can be active at the same time, the use of short, easily remembered names can reduce confusion and make communication much easier. By 1953, the United States began using female names for storms, and by 1978, both male and female names were used to identify Northern Pacific storms. This was then adopted in 1979 for storms in the Atlantic Basin. So how are the storms named today? By a strict procedure established by the World Meteorological Organization. For Atlantic hurricanes, there's a list of male and female names which are used on a six-year rotation. So the 2015 list will be used again in 2021. The only time that there's a change is if a storm is so deadly that the future use of its name would be inappropriate, such as Sandy or Katrina. In the event that more than 21 named tropical cyclones occur in a season, any additional storms will take names from the Greek alphabet, like Alpha, Beta, Theta. This last happened in 2005. Hurricanes and storms aren't named after a specific person. The names are tailored to the people in each region, so it's easy to say and understand. So the next time you hear the names Franklin or Joyce, remember that it's just a coincidence that your friend also has that name. It's just an easy name to remember.